The new 3i Atlas images show something that shouldn't be possible. This interstellar traveler was supposed to be a simple comet, a dirty snowball reflecting the sun's rays. But the latest high-resolution images show something else entirely. Instead of a classic tail, it has a strange glowing cocoon facing towards the sun. Its light profile is too steep. It's fading too abruptly. According to Harvard's Avi Loeb, we are not looking at nature. We're looking at an object that appears to have an engine, and it's flying a very deliberate path through our celestial backyard. 10 gigawatts of mystery. Something truly bizarre is flying through our solar system. On July 1, 2025, an automated telescope system called ATLAS, short for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, pinged an alert. It had spotted our third-ever interstellar visitor, an object from another star system, and it was given the designation 3i Atlas. At first, the world of astronomy breathed a collective sigh of relief. Unlike the weird cigar-shaped Oumuamua, this one looked like a regular comet. It had a fuzzy glow around it, a coma, which is exactly what you'd expect from a giant ball of ice and dust getting closer to the sun. The ice warms up, turns to gas, and creates a beautiful halo. Case closed, right? Wrong. The thing nobody tells you is that the more we looked, the less sense it made. Many people are crazy about space. But even for seasoned astronomers, what came next was a shocker. When the Hubble Space Telescope took a closer look, the images showed something that shouldn't be possible. Comets have tails that are pushed away from the sun by solar wind and radiation pressure. But 3i Atlas didn't have a classic tail. Instead, it had a weirdly teardrop-shaped cocoon of dust that was elongated towards the sun. It was like seeing the smoke from a campfire blowing into the fire. This was the first major red flag. But then came the light itself. Avi Loeb the former chair of Harvard's astronomy department, and his colleague took a deep dive into the numbers, analyzing the brightness profile of this strange glow. What they found was jaw-dropping. The light from the coma faded incredibly steeply, much faster than the light from any known comet. You see, but not all things are what they seem. Loeb realized this steep light curve pointed to one unbelievable conclusion. The sun wasn't the primary source of illumination. The object was lighting up the dust cloud from within. It was generating its own light, and the amount of power required was astronomical. Loeb calculated the object was glowing with a continuous output of 10 gigawatts. To put that in perspective, that's the energy equivalent of 10 full-scale nuclear power plants running at maximum capacity here on Earth. This isn't a faint flicker. It's a colossal beacon of energy in the cold darkness of space. This single fact completely flips the script. If it's making its own light, then the initial size estimates were all wrong. The original model based on reflected sunlight suggested Three Eyes Atlas was enormous, maybe 12 miles across, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. An object that big is incredibly rare. But if it has an internal reactor, Loeb's calculations suggest the object itself could be tiny, perhaps smaller than 300 feet across. A small object producing that much energy is, scientifically speaking, unheard of in nature. It defies our understanding of physics. We simply don't know of any natural process that allows a 100-meter rock to generate the power of a small nation. The mystery only deepens from here but its impossible energy source wasn't the only secret it was hiding. A path of purpose. When an object travels for millions or even billions of years between the stars, you'd expect its path to be random. It should come in at any old angle from any direction. But three-hour Atlas is different. Its trajectory is suspiciously neat. The thing is, it's traveling within the ecliptic plane the flat, pancake-like disk where all the planets in our solar system orbit. The odds of a random interstellar object lining up so perfectly with our planetary plane are incredibly low, something like a 1 in 500 chance. 
It's like throwing a dart from across a football field and having it land perfectly flat on the 50-yard line. It's possible, sure, but it's eyebrow-raisingly precise. But the coincidences don't stop there. The path of Three-Eye Atlas seems almost like a guided tour of our solar system. After swinging by the sun, its trajectory is set to take it remarkably close to several key planets. On October 3, 2025, it will have a blind date with Mars, passing within 18 million miles. This is close enough for the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to get our best images yet. Then it continues on its journey, set for a close approach with Jupiter. Avi Loeb describes this trajectory as fine-tuned and deliberate. He raises a chilling possibility. What if this path wasn't an accident? What if the object is mapping our system, observing our planets, or even deploying smaller probes? The idea sounds like science fiction, but the orbital mechanics are hard to ignore. This is where the story gets even stranger. The James Webb Space Telescope made another bizarre discovery. The gas cloud around 3I Atlas is made almost entirely of carbon dioxide with very little water. For a normal comet, this ratio is paradoxical. This unusual chemistry, combined with the lack of a water vapor tail, adds yet another layer to the mystery. Some scientists argue this just means it formed in a very different kind of star system. But Loeb offers a more provocative explanation. What if the object isn't a comet at all, but a spacecraft, and the glow is its nuclear engine burning off a thin layer of interstellar dust and grime that has accumulated over its long journey? The CO2 could be part of this cosmic dust, not the core composition of the object itself. The evidence is mounting that we're dealing with something far outside our normal experience. The theory suggests 3I Atlas is a panspermia probe, a cosmic seed ship. You see, for decades, scientists have kicked around the idea of panspermia, the concept that life on Earth may have originated from microorganisms that drifted here from space, perhaps on a comet or asteroid. But this new theory takes it a giant leap forward. This wouldn't be accidental. It would be directed panspermia, an ancient, hyper-advanced civilization could have built fleets of these automated probes, cosmic gardeners designed to travel the galaxy and seed promising worlds with the building blocks of life. That impossible glow? It might not be heat and light from a nuclear reactor, but the bioluminescence and energy signature of a massive biological manufacturing process. The probe could be using its power source to assemble complex amino acids, proteins, or even self-replicating nanites from the simple atoms it collects in interstellar space. The strange carbon dioxide-rich cloud might not be dust. It could be the nutrient medium or waste product of this process. Loeb warns that we need to be careful what we wish for. If this theory is true, 3i Atlas isn't just a visitor. It's a delivery system. It's carefully planned trajectory through our solar system. Passing by multiple planets suddenly makes terrifying sense. It could be releasing clouds of these engineered microscopic organisms designed to thrive in a variety of environments, from the thin atmosphere of Mars to the oceans of a moon like Europa, and even here on Earth. But not all things are what they seem. Many people get excited about the idea of discovering alien life. But Loeb's warning is stark. This wouldn't be a discovery. It would be an arrival. An engineered organism from another biosphere could be totally incompatible with our own. What if it's not seeding life, but programmed to end it? Triggering the Great Filter There's a dark and chilling concept in cosmology known as the Great Filter. It's the idea that there's some kind of barrier or challenge that prevents civilizations from becoming interstellar. Maybe it's nuclear war or climate change or something we can't even imagine. But a terrifying new theory, amplified by Avi Loeb's warnings, suggests the filter isn't something we do to ourselves. It's a test that comes to us from the outside, and we may have just failed it. This theory reframes 3i Atlas not as a scout or a gardener, but as a sentinel, a cosmic tripwire, a doomsday machine. And the thing that set it off? Us. 
Think about it like this. For millions of years, this object drifted silently through space, dormant and dark. Then it enters our solar system and suddenly flares to life, glowing with the power of 10 nuclear reactors. Why now? The chilling answer might be that it detected us. It registered the radio waves from our planet, the heat signature of our cities, or maybe even the light from our telescopes observing it. We will know more in the coming weeks, so stay tuned to Planet X News. If any of you would like to make a contribution to Dr. Claudia Albers' healthcare fund, please feel free to use the PayPal link in the description box under this video. Please keep her in your prayers, and thank you for all of your support over the years.